You know, some people say, hey, you should quit drinking. And I say, hey, I'm not a quitter. Hey, what's up, drinking buddies? 1920 Beer Baron here. I wasn't born in 1920, but sometimes I feel like I was. Uh, but not today. Today, we have this to do, and uh, it's a Double Dog IPA, made by Flying Dog Brewing Company. Uh, double Dog IPA, Indi Indi Double Dog Double IPA, India Pale Ale, for that other night, that other goddamn night. Ralph Stedman. Holy crap! That's 11.5% alcohol. Jeez! Uh, Ralph Stead, 2004. I guess he drew that picture of that. Man, that's one ugly damn dog. It looks like a pig's head. What that? A chicken's feet and... Yep, that looks like me. Yep. I think that's all we got to say. You know, that's like a, a, pa a, pa a paper label. And then they got these little braille things down here. I, I think that's braille, the little dimples down here. I don't know what that is. Anyways, uh, that's... I'll live. Go to flyingdogbrewery.com. Flyingdogbrewery.com. And, uh, and it, it doesn't look like a flying dog to me. It looks like a bat under cap. Ah, hell with it. Who the hell cares? Who the hell cares? Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, did some moving some stuff around in here. Cleaned it up a little bit. Okay. There's like a nice orange head on it. Eh, nah, nah, nah. You can see that. Wow, that's looks like motor oil. No, it, it kind it kind of does that, honey. Nice head on that. Really bubbly. Really bubbly. Oh, that's a nice head. Okay, that doesn't smell too bad. Oh, it's going to kick my ass at 11%. 11.5%. <laughs> 11 my gosh, that's strong. They keep a bottle of this in your car. You get stuck in the snow, it's strong enough to push you out. Whoo! Oh! Yeah. That alcohol. Wow! Right in the kisser. Yeah, it's a lot of alcohol in there. Yeah, double lot of IPA stuff in there too. I don't know what that is. What is that stuff? I don't know. Hops. A lot of hops. A lot of hops, a lot of alcohol. I don't know what the IBUs, International Brittle British Thermal Unit. No, I don't know what the IBUs are in there, uh, uh, but it's, it has to be pretty damn high. I'll probably have to look it up for you, and I'll put it like right in here somewhere. No, no. Uh, it's pretty high though. A lot of alcohol. Not bad. I would drink it, but I ain't gonna, drink, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna buy a 12 pack of this. You buy a 12 pack of this, and you start drinking them like you do like your normal beers. You'd be on your ass. Yeah, you'll be on your ass quick. Because pounding, drinking this, it's like drinking two beers. Over two beers. But that's that's pretty good. I like the flavor. Not bad, but just too much alcohol content, man. I ain't gonna, it's a, a sipping beer. A sipping beer, you know. It's a little thick. They got a thickness scale rating. Call it viscosity. Yeah, we got it for the bitterness. And they got it for the color or whatever. And the, the, what about the thickness? A couple popsicles stick in there, won't hit the bottom. Ugh. I don't know. You could probably drop this in there, probably wouldn't hit. No. You're gonna waste a good beer. Good lord. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was gonna tell you something. A cat's jaw cannot move sideways. Yeah. Good thing for that. I don't know why, but anyways, it's pretty good. I would give it a. Uh, I'll give it a seven and a half for flavor, but the alcohol content, man, you ain't gonna be hammering this stuff down. If you drink Bush Light, don't don't bother even touching this stuff, cause you you're, you yeah, yeah. But if you like to get drunk 
I don't like to get drunk. Drink this stuff. It'll kill you. It won't kill you, but it'll have a pretty damn good hangover. Anyways, that being said, spot ain't gonna like it. Don't have any amount of haze in it. Nice and clear. And uh, bottoms up. <laughs>